Hey guys, today I'm gonna harvest these sweet potatoes. I'm like, they've been out here for a couple nights in some cold temps, and I don't want to lose what I have, if anything. I'm like, you can see the leaves, how they've been wilted, you know, damaged by the frost. So I'm gonna go ahead and see what I have. I'm just gonna pull up all these leaves. I already see three potatoes. And just in case anybody's wondering, it is the Beauregard sweet potato. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's what it is. I got it. All right. I don't know if you can see, there's already sweet potatoes. I have an echinacea here in the middle that I'm gonna try and save. <laughs> All right, here we go. Look at that, nice. I like how they come out kind of nice and clean already. All right. I'm very pleased. These so far are all nice sized sweet potatoes. Oh, I got some legs here. Look at that. Okay. Okay, this is the harvest that I ended up with from my uh, bucket, my container, grown sweet potatoes. I'm satisfied. This bed right here is the first time that I've attempted to grow sweet potatoes directly in the ground. And I have had some kind, I think it's a mole that's been digging around the base of the, the box. So I'm kind of concerned with what I'm gonna find once I um, try to harvest these. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut these leaves. Oh wow, look at this. And look at this. like the critters didn't eat too much of my sweet potatoes. And again, this is the Beauregard, the same one from the, um, the bucket over there. Okay. The sweet potatoes here is the Boniato that I got from the international market. And it's a, um, I believe it's like a purple or a,
All right, I'm gonna get the pitchfork and start digging. Oh, mama. Wow. Look at that. What? What? Oh my gosh. This is like a bundle. They're all grown together. This is awesome. Look at these. All right. So I'm definitely going to save my in-ground sweet potatoes. What's the success? If I don't get any more sweet potatoes, I'll be happy. Wow. Look at that. Awesome. Okay, now that I've removed all the sweet potatoes from the bed, I'm taking the time now to take out as many of the stringy roots and uh, just smooth the soil over and I'm going to amend it and get it ready for some garlic that I plan to put in this box. So yeah, that's it. Okay, this is the harvest that I got from my container. This is the one that I have in the, I don't know, 17 gallon uh, container. And I'm pleased with this. This is a nice harvest. I, I am satisfied. You know, I don't need that many sweet potatoes. And this is the sweet potatoes that I harvested from my in-ground. This bed right here is where I had the sweet potatoes. And this is what I harvested from that and I must say I'm very pleased I am I'm pretty pleased with this this is a this is a good harvest this right here this was um, the sweet potato that I got at the international market and I believe it was called a boniato sweet potato or yam I, I don't remember but that's what I and they you know, they're pretty small and slender, but that's okay. I'm going to attempt to grow this again next year and hopefully I will um, have better luck or that there'll be a, a larger harvest. I don't know what it looks like. I don't remember. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's white on the inside. It's a pretty purple on the outside, but it's white on the inside. So yeah, that's my uh, sweet potato harvest. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment and let me know what's going on in your garden.